We have noted the judgment of the High Court on my purported exclusion from the 2023 presidential race. I continue to respect the courts as constitutional institutions and that they have a duty to play in our democracy. And in this case, I strongly disagree with this judgment and the manner in which it granted relief beyond what had been sought. Legally, there are also a lot of areas which our team have been looking at and will be raising in our appeal, which has since been successfully uh, filed with the Supreme Court of Zimbabwe. The team has since also noted the areas of concern, quite a number of areas of concern, and we have no doubt that we shall be succeeding in our endeavor to overturn this judgment. We respect our courts, like I said earlier on, but there are moments where we still also, as citizens of a country, have a right and duty to protect ourselves, the ordinary citizens in our country, and all those who aspire to participate in the politics, they must be protected by the law. So we are enjoined to defend ourselves and to call out where we think there is a challenge. So the Supreme Court will be dealing with the matter at a point or time which obviously will be in keeping with their rules uh, of the Supreme Court. I would also like to enjoin and ask Zach to observe the legal position, print and gazette the ballot paper with my name as expected on the 22nd of July 2023. I remain a lawfully nominated candidate for the presidency. We are aware of why Nangagwa has to resort to this kind of tactics. This is what happens when you're a coward. You try as much as possible to find every avenue. Yes, it's politics, but this has gone beyond politics. These are the effects of state capture. This is what happens when an individual thinks he is more powerful than the state. Like I said a few weeks ago, as I launched my bid, we've taken this extraordinary decision in this extraordinary time and moment to save our country from danger. We have um, heard uh, the unfortunate judgment by the High Court in which um, President Sevia Kasukwere's nomination has been set aside on the grounds that it is in violation of the Constitutional Court provisions and in particular it is also in violation of the applicant um, Lavdeo Mangwana's constitutional rights. We are not, um, we are not in agreement uh, with this uh, judgment and we find it flawed in many ways. In particular, we find it strange that the court on its own, of its own violation went ahead to uh, grant an order or uh, to pass an interdict that uh, um, prohibits President Sevia Kasukwere from, um, um, from presenting himself as a presidential candidate both inside and outside of the country. We see no need for that and we think that uh, it, this in particular enhances or advances our reasons for saying that this judgment is flawed and that this judgment will not uh, stand uh, review by an upper court. So as we speak, we are... Uh, our, our legal counsel are busy uh, preparing the, uh, the appeal and I think um, this afternoon we should be able to note an appeal against this judgment. I think that uh, the acceptance of the nomination papers was an order and I think it is this judgment that we find um, problems with and um, that we will be fighting against in an upper court and I believe that if the judgment justice system in Zimbabwe is still intact, we should have this appeal succeed. After the High Court judgment yesterday barring uh, our client from uh, being on the ballot paper for the 2023 presidential elections, we successfully filed an appeal in the Supreme Court this morning under SC 387 of 2023. The net effect of uh, that appeal is to suspend a high court judgment. What does it mean? 
What it basically means is that his, his status has reverted back to the time before the litigation by Lafde Bangwana was instituted, meaning that he remains on the ballot. He is a presidential candidate for 2023. I have seen and have heard on social media misleading conclusions of the law to the effect that the filed appeal does not suspend uh, that the judgment of the High Court. That is incorrect. That appeal suspends the decision of the High Court and it entitles President Kasugwere to remain on the ballot. He is a presidential candidate for 2023 until such time that any court of competent jurisdiction post the Supreme Court has ruled that he is not a presidential candidate. Is matter stand? He is a presidential candidate. He remains on the ballot. An appeal was filed on behalf of Zavia Kazukwele, and that appeal is not what was before the court today. Um, Lavdo Mangwana then approached this court so that he could be heard on an agent basis to ask the court to hear the matter on an, uh, to hear the appeal itself on an agent basis. So what was before the court was the management of that case. Uh, in which Lafdeu Mangwana seeks the appeal to be made on an agent basis. So the court uh, ruled that um, the, uh, President Sylvia Kasukere's opposing uh, papers should be filed before end of business today. And then tomorrow, uh, by one o'clock, the, 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 the applicant, Lafdeu Mangwana, is to file their <coughs> answering after David and heads of arguments. And then we are to file on behalf of President Sylvia Kasukere um, his head of argument on the 20th, on the 20th of July before 10 uh, a.m. And subsequently the matter is going to be heard by the Supreme Court at 2.30.